Hi, Vixen here, and here's to trick and treating. While Zara is making up her face, let me tell you that to best manage any expectations about the success of this venture, we're going to start at the end and work our way backwards through the evening. Here are Zara and Missia after one and a half hours of Halloween walking. Look at Zara, she still looks amazing. But Missia, the most terrifying thing about Missia now is the amount of wire sticking out. Her lower abdomen has been forcibly removed. She's lost a couple of legs and we don't even know where they are. Her remaining legs have wilted. She's lost a lot of stuffing. The last half hour was a lot of bedraggled walking. People might have been surprised we'd taken a dog out in that state, but she still gained some attention. Looks like a spider! Call those spider dogs. Spider dogs? <laughs> that one's a spider dog. You've left a leg on the street. During the second half hour, the spider started to lose limbs. Bits of wire started to be exposed, as well as other bits keeping the remains of the costume together. People were trying hard to generate enthusiasm. Oh my gosh, he's a scary dog! He's a spider dog! Ooh, you're so scary! So scary. Dogs barked at this alarming sight. Sadly, it was at this stage I realised I'd been mispronouncing Zara's name for the past four months. Seda. Seda. Seda? <laughs> Almost home, we found the redback spider spike on the road. It had fallen off within 300 metres of home without us even noticing. Redbacks are the most dangerous spiders we have in Western Australia. So here we are in the first half hour, and the level of excitement is high. Getting there is a challenge. There's a lot of adjusting to be done. Eventually, the abdomen has to be unsentimentally removed on a street corner. This year reveals her preference is to be a jumping spider. While her costume is intact, within 100 metres of home, it's the first people who see her who give the best response. They're the only people to see the real redback spider. It's all worth it for that one moment. And for this reason, we've hatched a better plan for next year. Until then, the memories live on.